Hey guys, welcome to AWS Cloud Demos. Um, in today's demo, we will look into how uh, we use API Gateway and Lambda proxy integration uh, into the API Gateway. Um, so I hope uh, you guys have already aware of uh, API Gateway. If not, uh, please head over to the um, URL, which is um, aws.amazon.com slash API Gateway. Uh, you should be able to see this uh, wonderful diagram over here, which explains clearly about what API Gateway uh, possibilities are and how uh, you can use that uh, for the integration with various services like AWS Lambda, EC2, Kinesis, DynamoDB. Um, there's a whole lot to discuss about this API Gateway. So I have decided um, to create these uh, in a series of videos rather than covering everything in a one single video. So uh, I will be uh, creating a parts of the video um, so that you should be able to follow them in the order that I've created um for you to understand the whole uh, api gateway so that uh, uh, we will discuss about various topics on api gateway like uh, um, api gateway usage plans uh, staging resources methods and um, uh, we have api keys um, and there are a whole lot of stuff that uh, we can discuss on api gateways um, so before we go ahead uh, let me quickly brief uh, the key features of uh, api uh, gateway which is uh, automatic scaling uh, you have the power of uh, cloudwatch here uh, which will give you um, the logs and for the debugging purpose uh, and also you can monitor and there is a security aspect um, and also versioning uh, sdk generation you can export your apis to swagger and postman and uh, uh, you know there's a whole bunch of uh, things that you can do with the api gateway all right um so to begin with in the part one of this video so what we're going to be doing today is create a lambda function and then uh, integrate with the api gateway uh, so let's uh, go ahead to the aws console uh, i've already logged into my console um so head over to lambda i have a nice shortcuts over here you can you can add bookmarks like i did uh, and then uh, go ahead and click on lambda um so on the top right click on create function let's create a function called um get params or something like that uh, I'm using Node.js 18 or maybe I can use 16 uh, it's totally up to you uh, you can also use Python or whatever language that you're comfortable in um, uh, in my case I'm gonna choose uh, Node.js 16 go ahead and select um, role uh, you need an execution role which is create a new role with a basic lambda function I think this is uh, enough for my uh, in my case um, so just go ahead I think for this demo just just choose the uh, the first option all right and just go ahead and click on create function like so just give it a second uh, it's going to create a function in a moment and then uh, we will write our first lambda function um, in this series uh, and we will create a um, simple query string and uh, path parameters uh, how do we integrate that with the um, lambda and and the uh, api gateway all right um, so okay um, go ahead and click on index.js file uh, like so uh, before you do anything just go ahead and type out some functionality I'm going to remove this comment which is not needed so basically we want to receive the path parameters and query strings right um from the api gates from the uh, api gateway so what i'm going to do is uh, uh in my lambda i'm going to go and uh, create a um so i'm going to go ahead and remove the body that i have here which is something like uh, i'm going to just send a greeting message um right um just a greeting message which will give you we just uh trying to uh you know demo the query strings and path parameters how do you receive it um and also how do you test it in lambda and how do you receive it from the api gateway right so uh for that reason what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna simply uh, write a greeting message okay so i'm gonna get the greeting um as a query string and also the name as a path parameter okay um so i'm gonna just give a message something like um Good morning or good evening um okay and then um, so i want to receive the greeting message in a query string okay uh, so for that reason what i'm going to do is uh, because this is a template um literal uh, es6 template literal so i'm going to use a dollar um to get the event uh, object with a query string parameter like so parameters and then i'm gonna get the uh greeting 
uh, from that okay and then uh, I'm gonna greet nice to meet you um, like so um, and I'm gonna say something like uh, my name is Murli so I'm gonna you know print out message uh, something like good evening uh, nice to meet you Murli or good morning nice to meet you Murli based on the query string parameters based on the path for example if you uh, send uh, your name as a path parameter then uh, you will see something like good morning nice to meet you uh, and then your name okay um, so here I'm gonna get the path parameter uh, like so path parameter and then I'm gonna send as name as my path parameter okay okay that's it this is a pretty simple lambda uh, you're not doing anything um, great here it's, it's just trying you're try, just trying to get the query string parameters greeting and you're just trying to greet them like nice to meet you uh, like for example morally um, so you should be able to get it okay um, now that you have set up your lambda go ahead and click on deploy um, Okay, now you have successfully deployed your Lambda. I'll go ahead and configure the test event. Uh, so we're going to create something called uh, greet. Uh, greet me. Uh, go ahead and choose API gateway AWS proxy like so. And then go ahead and give the query string, um, which is greeting in my case. I'm going to say morning. And uh, if we go to path parameters, right? Um, so the path parameters, I'm going to have name. And go ahead and remove this uh, path and just put something like Murli uh, because it's my name I'm gonna start with capitalize and then um, click on save okay um, now that you have set up your uh, test event and now you should be able to go ahead and click on test uh, to see how you're gonna get the result there you go now you see the result good morning nice to meet you Murli all right um, and if you go back to the um, lambda and then go ahead and configure test event and if you change this to evening um okay i'm gonna just change this to evening and then path parameter will be i'm gonna change the name to something like prashant um all right and then go ahead and click on save and close this previous execution result and click on test and you should be able to see the new message now good evening nice to meet you prashant all right so this is the part one uh, of this video um so basically what we are trying to do is get the um query string parameters uh, and also the path parameters um, and then just display the uh, body message uh, from here okay um that that's pretty much it now we uh, now you have set up the lambda function what are we going to do? Go ahead and open the API gateway. Um, for this, I'm going to just duplicate my tab from here. And then uh, we will go ahead and open up API gateway like so. Um, and then we will create an API um, and uh, choose the rest API that you want to create. Okay. Um, you don't want to, you're not creating any private APIs. Uh, if you want to see how private APIs are being created, I will link um, in the uh, video so that just go ahead and uh, watch those videos of how, for how to create the REST API, uh, private REST APIs. Okay, for in this case, I'm just going to use the REST API. Okay, click on uh, build on this option and open up um, new API. My API name is. Um, API uh, REST API uh, maybe series okay and then go ahead and uh, uh, leave this default regional REST API series go ahead and click on create API so now that you're in the uh, API gateway screen so go ahead and select this uh, resource the default resource and go ahead and click on resource something like you know we have a path parameter which is name right and I'm gonna just just give name and uh, for path parameters you're gonna uh, use this uh, uh, flower braces like so um uh, you can see the example here they clearly mentioned that uh, the resource path username represents the path parameter like username in our case it's just name right um and you can uh, then pass these uh, path parameters and query strings to your uh, lambda using the lambda proxy integration okay so now uh, you're done uh, with the 
path okay just create a resource and then select the resource and create a method okay which is something like i'm going to choose get because i just want to receive json from my uh, lambda function and get it back uh, to my api gateway um this is just a get function and then go ahead and uh, in the lambda function just type uh, get params this is our lambda function and click on save click ok so you should be able to create your lambda all right um and then uh, go ahead and uh, click on method request click on method uh, get integration request and uh, make sure it is use uh, lambda proxy integration click this checkbox are you sure you want to change switch to lambda proxy integration yes okay and your um, api gateway permission to invoke lambda function that is totally fine and that's it and you are now have configured uh, your get method uh, once you change this right um, go ahead and do a deploy api which is maybe select the new stage for now and this could be something like test stage and go ahead and deploy it um so now that you should be able to see um your api which is being deployed and then go back to the resources again click on get okay now see this this window is grayed out because it is the lambda integration all right um so you need to follow this step in order to you know get uh, your lambda invoked with the path parameters and uh, the query strings okay now go ahead and click on test again uh, change the name which uh, maybe you can choose any name in my case i'm just choosing my name and then uh, query string which is greeting and then um, let's put evening ng and then go ahead and click on test see there you go now you got the response back uh, from your lambda uh, into your api gateway uh, so you can see good evening nice to meet you morally and also you can change anything like um, with your name and also maybe something like morning uh, and then click on test you should be able to see the nice message from your lambda um this is a, a, a integration example uh, with the lambda from the api gateway all right so in the next video we will discuss about um creating a uh, calculator function okay so we will uh, use the path parameter like uh, we did um so we will send the method name uh, and uh, we will get the result uh, back uh, from our lambda okay so we will discuss more about uh, this in the next video in the part two please do watch the part two video i have linked in the uh, video and also in the description section below um so please watch this playlist uh, completely so that uh, you get the better understanding of api gateway and the lambda function okay um so thank you so much and i will see you guys in the part two thank you